Eevee has non evolved Pokemon, and despite how iconic it is, it's not a very good one. A low base stat total, mediocre typing, and a really shallow move pool leave it without any real purpose, even in Little Cup. The only time most people will remember it being at all viable is in Sun and Moon where it had access to the ridiculous move known as Extreme Evo Boost. This exclusive Z-move gave Eevee a plus 2 boost in every stat which could map and pass to terrifying recipients like Sword Power Espion and Power Trip Crocodile. Meanwhile Pikachu, who is pretty much its counterpart at this point, has an awesome signature item in Light Ball that lets it carve out niches in lower tiers and sometimes also VGC. Poor Eevee is what I would say if it weren't for Pokemon Let's Go. In Let's Go, Pikachu and Eevee have special starter forms. These forms have improved stats similar to some fully evolved Pokemon and come packing unique and extremely powerful moves. Both of these Pokemon absolutely destroy a playthrough of the game thanks to their insane coverage, but in competitive play there's a clear winner. Eevee, the Pokemon that, in the right circumstances, is arguably even more game-breaking than Mewtwo. But before we get into that story, I'd like to thank everyone for the support of my last video. It absolutely blew up, and all your comments really put a smile on my face. If you enjoy this kind of coverage of niche tiers, make sure to subscribe! I have loads of ideas for videos ready and waiting, and subscribing guarantees you won't miss them. My current goal is to reach 500 subscribers before the end of the year so I can make community posts, and if even 20% of the viewers of my last video subscribed, we could easily break that milestone. Thanks for watching, and let's get back to the video. Back before Let's Go officially released, but was data mined, the tier was played on an unofficial Pokemon Showdown server called Nexus, which was run by a certain extremely attractive and cool individual. We were working off data mined information, and as a result, not every detail about Wi Fi battles was clear at first. This led to the primary format people played at the time being Candy OU. For those uninitiated, Candy OU allows the use of Let's Go's EV equivalent, Candy. Candy allows any Pokemon to gain up to 200 points in any stat after all other calculations. Let's take this level 100 Chansey, which ordinarily has 46 defense in Let's Go. With Candy, that becomes 246 defense. That's right, we just increased Chansey's defense fivefold. The effect is less insane for stats that are already high. For example, Chansey's special defense goes from 250 to 450, which isn't even double. In short, Candy benefited low stat Pokemon disproportionately, and made things a lot bulkier overall due to the increase in both the HP and defenses outweighing the increases to attacking stats. Such a bulky metagame also resulted in Taunt being really popular to help stop walls healing off damage forever, and Rest being common to keep Pokemon alive. This is where Starter Eevee comes in. Its mediocre stats love Candy's buff, and all of its signature moves are 90 base power attacking moves and therefore bypass Taunt. So what do those moves do? Well, a variety of mostly absurd things. You've got Sizzly Slide and Buzzy Buzz, which reliably burn and paralyze the target. You've got Baddy Bad and Glitzy Glow, which set up Reflect and Light Screen. Freezy Frost, which removes all stat changes. Bouncy Bubble, which sucks. Sappy Seed, which puts Leech Seed on the target. And most importantly, Sparkly Swirl, which cures the status conditions of your entire team. In Let's Go, the moves Heal Belt and Aromatherapy don't exist, so Sparkly Swirl is your only status removal option in the entire game, and obviously makes for a great pairing with all of the rest users. To say Starter Eevee dominated the tier would be an understatement. Any team that didn't have it was just entirely unviable, and if yours went down you probably lost the game on the spot. Both being able to cure status and being able to spread your own regardless of taunt was entirely unique to Eevee, and any team without these capabilities was at an objective disadvantage for no real gain. In fact, Eevee was so strong that the player base at the time voted for it to be nerfed by banning the move Sappy Seed. It was decided that Eevee's overall presence was beneficial for the tier, but the ease with which it stayed healthy via Leech Seed recovery was unreasonable, and it practically forced players to run Venusaur, the only viable grass type, in order to answer it. With Sappy Seed banned, Eevee has to use rest like most other Pokemon and those rest sleep turns can be exploited, so it becomes a lot more reasonable to handle. Sadly, good things can't last forever. Shortly after the game officially released, Smogon decided that their official overused format would be played with the game's normal rules option, which sets Pokemon to level 50 and disables candies. This was obviously a massive blow to Eevee, many people didn't realise quite how significant it was. People played a lot more defensively in the early games of Let's Go OU, likely as a holdover from what they'd learned in Candy OU, and a lot of Candy OU staples were assumed to be great here too. The most obvious example is, of course, Eevee, who was placing the S rank alongside Mega Alakazam and Melmetal without a second thought. There was game upon game where entire teams got status by Eevee spamming its signature moves against a panicking opponent that kept switching around. Some of my more enlightened viewers might see how everything started to fall apart for Eevee. A free word mantra began to spread. Just attack Eevee. Sure, it'll status something or set Leech Seed or do Cleric duties, but the reality is that most Pokemon in the tier are capable of 2-hit KOing Eevee thanks to its middling bulk and practically useless defensive typing. And even in the worst case, you can just switch to something like Zapdos, which doesn't really care about Eevee at all. The worst Eevee can ever really do to Zapdos is burn it, which is really not enough to make progress. With this in mind, all Eevee really accomplished in most battles were getting a burn or paralysis on something and then dying. It brought nothing to teams defensively or offensively beyond waking up your resting Pokemon, and Rest was already beginning to lose popularity as people realised how ineffective it was without Clerics or Sleep Talk. 
Eevee started to fall down the rankings with no sign of stopping and it eventually reached B- where it currently resides. The problem is that it's really hard to tell how good Starter Eevee actually is. Being able to spread status is something that can be done by Pokemon that are more useful defensively and offensively, so it's clear that if Eevee were to excel, it would be primarily for its use of Sparkly Swirl. So what makes effective use of Sparkly Swirl support? Well, a lot of things potentially could. The most obvious synergy is with bulky Pokemon that use Rest, but there are plenty of other Pokemon, especially Mew, who can also take advantage of not having to care about status as much. To me, it's totally possible that someone could make a meta-changing Eevee team and bring them on back into the spotlight. I just have no clue what that team would be, and until someone figures it out, Eevee is stuck being pretty mediocre. It's found little bits of success here and there in recent times, mainly on teams where it supports Rest Mega Gyarados, who is admittedly a pretty good recipient of Sparkly Swell. Being able to use Gyarados in the mid game for its impressive defensive and offensive presence, and then bring it back from the brink of death later on can be pretty devastating in the right circumstances, especially with the incredibly common Mega Blast toys being ideal for it to switch in against. So that's the story of Eevee and its weird position in the tier. What do you guys think of Eevee? Do you think you can crack the code and find its perfect teammate? Or do you think it sounds too gimmicky to be worth the effort? Let me know in the comments, and while you're there, let me know what you'd like to see me cover next. I think a video about poor overlooked starter Pikachu could be fun to make as well. Also, check out the Smoke on Let's Go Discord in the description. I spend a lot of time talking in there, and it's a really lovely community. Thanks for watching, see ya!